This video consists of overview of my 3D printing business product and a detailed tutorial on how you can make one. There are also complete 3D files available in the description. There is a single major factor that differentiates successful 3D printing business from endless struggles for pennies. And that factor is a good original idea. And today not only will I share my own design that earned me a lot, I will also teach you how you can make it and sell it too. This episode will revolve around one of my best sellers. None of my products were ever sold in such quantity as personalized guitar picks. And before I show you how to make those, let me tell you why this design works so well in business terms. Most of 3D printing entrepreneurs fail because they do not understand the limitations of this technology. They try selling popular plastic items like fidget toys or tools, but products like this can be manufactured with injection molding for a fraction of the cost. The harsh truth is, 3D printing is not suited for mass production. But it was never really meant to be, and once you realize it, you can start using this fact to your advantage. What I mean is, while you can have hard time trying to sell ordinary models, 3D printing is the perfect technology to fit the personalized merchandise market. And here is where the ideas like customized guitar picks kick in. Personalized picks are basically a guitar picks with an inscription on them. It could be a client's name or their band's name, sometimes a logo or an item. It's pretty much up to the client. They make a perfect gift or just a very decent gadget, I've had few bands ordering a lot of those picks from me, because it lets them express their passion and maybe show off a little. And as I promised, this video is also a tutorial, so now I will show you how to do it. By the way, if you just want to have final model, you can get it from the link in the description. The link offers advanced pick shapes, suggested font and few renders you can use to promote and sell your picks. First, you need to install Blender, which is an amazing free software. You can find the download link in the description. Now, to make some advanced shapes you may need a bit more complex 3D modeling knowledge, but you can easily follow this tutorial to create a basic pick. Let's start with a common shape. Click Shift-A to add new object, now choose Mesh from the menu and click on Cylinder. In the pop-up menu select the number of segments and change it to 3. Press N to see the properties and select your mesh. Now click S and move your cursor around to scale it down and observe the Dimensions tab to navigate. Your peaks may differ in size, but you should aim for something around 3.5 cm or 1.4 inches wide. Select the Z axis and type in the thickness of your pick. You can go for anything between 0.6 to 1.2 mm or 0.028 to 0.055 inches. Remember to note the thickness on your page when you sell the pick, it's important for the musicians. Select your pick once again, click Ctrl A and choose Apply Scale. Now let's make the corners nice and rounded. Click Tab to switch into Edit Mode and choose this icon from the left upper corner. Now select all of the corner edges while holding Shift. Click Ctrl B and move your cursor a bit. Before you click Enter, use Scroll to increase the amount of segments. The more segments you choose, the smoother the corners will be. Now you have a main body shape. I also like to give it sharp profile in the middle and to do this, hover your cursor in the middle of sidewalls, now click Ctrl R. Select it with left mouse button and hit Enter. Now click S to scale it up a little. This little trick makes the pick even more practical. Let's deal with the inscription. Click Shift A and choose text. Now S to scale it down. In the tabs on the right, select text settings and change the font. I strongly suggest to use fonts with full body letters as they work way better for an inscription. 
I have tested a lot of fonts, the best one I found is included in the files package, which you can find in the description. Give the text a random thickness, just keep it a bit thicker than your pick. Click tab to edit the text and type in the phrase your client asked for. Press tab again to exit the edit mode and G to move the text around. Your text should be somewhere in the middle of the pic, you can always scale it up or down a little if you need to. Once your setup is in this position, you can select everything and copy it with Shift D. Those ready setups will help you make future pics in less than a minute. Ok, back to our pic. With Tab button, make sure you're not in edit mode anymore. Right click on the text and choose Convert to Mesh. Now from Modifiers tab select Remesh modifier and adjust the value so the text is sharp and detailed. Apply this modifier just like I did and now there is only one more thing to do. Select Pick, give it a Boolean modifier. Switch it to Difference and in the search bar choose your text mesh. Apply modifier and delete the text. What you now have is elegant customized guitar pick. Now you just need to export it. Select the pick, go to the file, export STL and check the selection only box. It is very important. You can now open your pick in a slicer of your choice, then print it and sell it. This process may look a little complicated, but once you have a pic and uh, editable text, it only takes a minute or two to adjust it for the new client. Also, a tip for you. Since customizing the pic takes the most effort, don't sell the pics individually. Instead, sell them in packs of 5, 8 or more. It's basically the same effort and you can set the price few times higher. I hope this video will inspire you to explore the personalized market of 3D printing and make a solid gain out of it. Because from my experience, it works better than expected. Thank you for watching and if you want to learn more about 3D printing, check out this tutorial on how to print huge models on small printers. Cheers!